Notebooks bound with washi tape, cute, fast and really easy. And we're using a new technique today that anyone can do. So each of these little notebooks is bound together with washi tape. So you can see it on the hinge here and I've added elements inside, but I've added extra pieces so that not only is this easy to make, but the notebook is very robust. For the front cover of each of these, I just stole from my pile of journal cards. So I picked a journal card and I used that for the front. You can use anything you like in any shape or size. For the back of each of these, I've upcycled, well, junk. So I use the back of a notebook like this and I just cut it down to size. I used one signature in each of these notebooks. Again, you could add more. Use your pretty papers, use your journal cards, make some gorgeous notebooks. I have all my supplies laid out around me on my desk here, but let's first just give you the process steps as I usually do. So these will be in Pinterest along with about 30 others. Feel free to take a screenshot or to download them from Pinterest. And one thing I did want to mention is that you can even make these with just washi tape and a stapler. And I'll show you exactly how to do that. Even if your stapler is a little diddy one like mine and it isn't the length or the width of these papers. So we're going to make it really easy today. And maybe you can make these as a gift or put them in your Etsy shop or maybe keep them for yourself. So the first thing we want to do to make one of these is choose our cover get our piece of card for the back and then pick our papers and fold them. So I'm going to raid from my pile of journal cards. So that's a nice one, isn't it? Maybe use that. I just make up all sorts as a batch and then they'd be great for making lots of these little notebooks. So the front is Mr. Bird and you want a piece of cardstock that is fairly thick and exactly the same size. What I tend to do is choose my cover and then literally mark around on the cardstock and cut it out because no matter how hard I try, because I don't buy index cards, I make them up from my own little bits of paper, these are all slightly different sizes and you want it to be as accurate as possible. My little cards here are intended to be I think they're 15 centimetres by 10 and a half. So that is, it's just about anyway, that is five and three quarter inches by about four inches. So there's my 10 and a half centimetres. So this is exactly the same. And I would say you want about 220 GSM upwards if you can. If you haven't got cardstock, glue a few pieces of paper together and just make it a bit thicker. So those are my front and back. Then what you want to do is just gather some little pieces of paper and put together a signature. And for the signature, I like to mix up my papers. I'm using up some of the digitals that have printed. So why don't we pick one of those? And then I mix in with these different types of paper. So maybe some very pretty music paper. Shall we have one of those? I like to add square paper. And if your paper that you're using isn't the right size, give it some interesting folds, like a fold back. And maybe some pattern paper. And I've added a scalloped edge to this one for interest. You can add some eclectic colours if you like. I really like to mix it up. In this notebook, I do want there to be space to write. So I'm going to add a piece of plain paper and maybe, maybe that's enough in this one. So I gather my pieces of paper and these need to be, when they are folded, less than, so smaller than the front and back covers. So if this little chap is, what did we say, about 15 centimetres, then I want this to be about 14 centimetres in that direction. 
I'll do give you the inches again so that's about five and a half inches and height wise I want to give it a margin as well so I go down to about nine and a half centimeters in height which is about three and three quarter inches so I'm giving a bit of space all the way around here and then I do that with all the other pieces of paper and I happen to like to have this front pattern page just being a tiny bit bigger than the others inside. It's just a personal preference. And all we need to do is just mix these up a bit and put them in. I've given them a good crease and you can use any colours you like. You'll find it's a great way of using up your, your little scraps. And I do mean little scraps. They don't need to be large pieces. So just like this, I've got the outer cover or the top sheet covering up the edges of what comes behind. That's just my preference. It makes it a bit nicer to look at as far as I'm concerned, but each to their own. I like them to be different sizes and that makes it easier. There's less measuring when it comes to the folding. So now we have our little signature and you might want to make more. You can have more than one. I've got my front and I've got my back. So I need to just bind this little signature together and you have some choices. Let's talk about that. So to bind our little signature, you have some choices. I started by just running my sewing machine down the middle and that works quite well. I go to about, again, maybe half an inch gap at the top and the bottom. So I just run a bit of sewing up and down. I go up and down at the top, up and down at the bottom so that it holds. I quite like these little threads showing. So that's one way of binding your papers in. And I limited myself to about five sheets because that's what I think my little baby sewing machine could handle. You could, of course, take your signature and do a very quick figure of eight. So just take maybe some embroidery thread and go through back and through, make a figure of eight and bind it that way. But the super quick way that I really like, and I don't think it's cheating, let me know what you think, is to use a stapler. So I staple from the outside, as you can see here, and I'm just going to show you how to do that with a regular stapler, even if your stapler isn't big enough, isn't a special one to reach all the way to the middle. So the first thing I want to do is get the papers in the right place and I'm going to just nudge them so that none of them are showing when I look from the front. Let me put, I'll put a little peg on that shall I, and maybe a, a little clip there. And then I'm going to staple from the outside so that the ends of the staple are in the middle just show you. I think that's the neatest way. It just seems to be a, what I want to do. You could do it the other way but then you'd have the scratchy bits just on the outside here. So I'm all tidy and I'm all held. I take my stapler and open it up and then I've just been taking either a piece of foam or some padding that's come in some kind of package. It would work with that as well. I've tried it fold my foam into four to make it quite thick and then turn my little piece of paper over and make sure it stays in the right place and I've got quite a crisp crease on each of these so I can see exactly where I want to staple. I'm going to look at my stapler and bear in mind that your staple doesn't come right out at the end, it's back a little bit. Just put your, maybe get that out of the way, Put your staple where you want it to go. I think that's all lined up. And press down. Oh, it's absolutely spot on. That's a nice surprise. And the same again. I only use two. And then I just turn that over and lift the foam off. Then I grab a little tool here, a pair of tweezers and very easily flatten them down just with the end. And it's quick, isn't it? It's a really quick technique when you haven't got a super-sized stapler and maybe you don't feel like doing all that sewing. 
and that means we've got a little signature. You could make up a few of these and add a few to your notebook. And our beautiful little signature is ready to attach with washi. So to bind these, what you want is a good quality washi tape. And by that, I mean one that is rather sticky. And I'm perfectly comfortable to rely on the stickiness of these two. I've used them a lot in my projects. I like them for this particular notebook project because not only are they sticky, they're about the right width. So these are between two and three centimetres, which is, let's just see, so that is about three quarters of an inch and this one is just a bit wider. But they are really, really strong and sticky and that's what makes this work. And I like them because they've got neutral colours. So I've picked one with a gold foil. I've used that on a few of the projects, as you can see. And I've used this one because it's just... I don't know whether they're daisies, but it's a very pale pink and greens neutrals. So you're not needing to worry too much if you've got colour in the cover of your notebook that you're making up. So why don't I pick which one to use? Now, if you have a smallish notebook to bind, and obviously you could make these much bigger, you just need to remember that you want to be able to fit at least three of these widths down the side of your signature. So if you had any of those really, really wide ones, this has just got stickers on, but there are some this wide, that's not going to work because you need to be able to fit three of these on. And you'll see as I come to bind. And we're going to start with the front cover. Just sit him there and you want to put two pieces on here, so for something this height I'm going to put two pieces on here and then I will be putting one on the signature which will sit in the middle and that will be the width of three that we talked about, one, two, three, and I can fit those on. Each of the pieces that I use for a hinge are, I'm going to work in centimetres, I'm sure you can work it out, about three or four centimetres which is enough to get the strength that we need without it filling too much of the image that's on our front. And I want these pieces to be able to attach to my internal signature, which means that I don't want to put the washi tape right at the top or right at the bottom. In fact, I'm going to put my signature on the front just to line up so I can see where this needs to go. So I need this to be about there because when I do my folding this piece here on the left will catch this internal signature and hold it and just press that down so it's about three or four centimeters worth of width and it really is nice and sticky this stuff this is from the washi tape shop if you have a look in my video description box you might find a discount code down there and I'm sure they've still got some beautiful washi tapes that you could use. They're really strong. I rate them for stickiness. So I've got another one there. And then that is all I need for the front cover. I'm going to turn it over. And then I'm going to add a piece to this. And I want this to be, I'm just going to line up where it's going to go. I'm looking here and here so that when I add a piece on here, the same size, about three or four centimetres, that can just sit in the middle and I know that this will fit on there. This piece of washi tape will fit on there when I fold it over and this is just going to go in the middle. So now you can see that if I'd chosen a really wide piece of washi tape, these gaps here wouldn't be big enough. In fact, there wouldn't be any gap and they might overlap. Pick up your signature, turn it over and put it absolutely on top of and aligned with the right hand edge of your front cover like that. So we've got the front cover and the signature sitting neatly on top of each other. This is going to be our spine and I've got it nice and aligned and I'm going to take the top piece of washi Press down your signature and just fold that over. 
press down your signature and holding it down will just help us to be nice and robust and firm when this all comes together. I have one spare sitting there and that is for my back. So remember we said this piece of card is exactly the same size as the front of our little notebook. And when I put this on, I want it to butt up really neatly. So I'm coming in, not like this, I'm coming in looking at the top and bottom so that it's lined up with the corners. It should be the same size. And I'm going to put my edge down first, butt it up and then lay it down. So I've got a really neatly butted up piece of cardstock there, but it's obviously far too flimsy at the moment. So this is a tab binding method, but basically what I've done is I'm going in now and I'm adding and I'm augmenting to make it hold together slightly better. I'm going to go back to my washi tape and with the same size pieces, so sort of three centimetres or so, first thing I'm going to do is add two more pieces on here where those others were. I'm going to butt that up, hold them together, put your washi tape down on the signature, take some sort of tool or your fingernail and press it down in the middle first and then let it attach to the cover. Let's just do that again. And this helps it attach without a gap or a pull. So put our washi on top on the signature, put your card up, hold it in place, take your fingernail, let's do it with a fingernail, just run your fingernail down the middle to let that attach. You see this is still a bit loose and then press that down. And that means this stays really close to the signature and the back and that makes it less flimsy. So I'm going to go to the back now and do exactly the same. I've got two little pieces here. But I'm going to add some extra on top to augment it. So just going on top of the one we've already got. Just make sure this is butted up. It is actually. Fingernail in the middle in that ridge and then press down. Same again. Down here. And because I'm going over the top of the washi that's already there, I don't think it looks too messy. It doesn't look like you've made a mistake and had to just put extra reinforcement in. You can't really see the piece underneath. So the back is now reinforced. I close it and I'm going to add a little bit of extra on the hinge itself. What I like to do is just leave a bit of the gap in the middle. So I add extra on the top and over the bottom one that you can already see. Again, sort of three centimetres ripping is fine. So I'll put that over the top. And by now these are holding together well, firmly Force that flap round, fold the flap of washi round, same again. If you had a really large or a larger notebook, you can literally convert from doing two here and one on the inside one, which we did, to three and two. So just alternate. So one is going to be one more piece than the next sheet or signature. So the cover or the signature. So basically scale up the number of pieces of washi that you put down the side as your notebook gets bigger. And that means we have got a beautiful notebook made really easy with space to write, gorgeous pieces of paper, speedy to do with our staples or you could sew and great as a gift idea too. If you like folding paper and making journals, then check out my video, How to Make a Junk Journal. I show you how to fold, making really interesting pages. I hope to see you soon.